Wait till you see it. See what? What a man can do to another man. In World War II, you fought until you either won or died. This is a very, very narrow, honest look at this one tank unit's life. Fury is an authentic look at World War II. It's April 1945. This movie is about reproducing history. Every look in the film is derived from historic research. The key, it doesn't look like movie. It has to look like we just travel with these guys. Every single soldier it looks like a piece of art. How to recreate makeup is complicated. It's not just mud and dirt. No, it's blood from his friends. In order to create authentic wardrobe, we went to Berlin to find costumes made in the 1940s. So every single item on this movie is an original, down to its button or hook and bar. And action! The most challenge on this movie is obviously the tank itself. The actual interior on this tank. It's literally like designing a car that comes apart, has sound, has engines, and have to work like a Mercedes once it's finished. I can't do it. I can't take any more. As opposed to just a war, this movie captures the emotion and psychology of it. And that's what makes it a little bit different. It doesn't wrap itself up in sort of glorious propaganda. It's going to show the physical impact of what happened to these guys. That's it! It's a goddamn tiger! Shoot the son of a bitch! Combat's a brutal, brutal, dirty business. It's soul crushing. There's nothing digital about this. Real tanks. Real uniforms. The equipment, all of it shot in the actual mud, rain, and pain of winter Europe. Shoot! Come on! It will end soon, but before it does, a lot more people gotta die.